your host, the commissioner of the 2023-2024 NFL Fantasy League. No other than the Now, so we're going to start about this league. I am the owner of the uh, Dash and D. We're going to name off these teams real quick. We have the Dash and D. I'm your owner. We have your reigning champion returning this year, Boom Buster. And we'll get back to him. We got DG4 Empire, the runner up from last year. And then we have some old people that was here last year Miami Glizzy Cats and the uh, Katizi Squad, Showtime Bandits, and DEO. Walk them down. And we have some new additions to the group the Fuzzy Bears out of Lawrence, and the KC Scorpions out of KC. So now, we're gonna highlight some of the quick matchups real quick. No, skip that, we'll start with the records real quick. So we're gonna go to the standings real quick. Standings will be posted right here. So right now, in first place, we have the Miami Glizzy Cats. Number two is Showtime Bandits. Number three is the KC Scorpions. Four is the Fuzzy Bears. Five is DEO. Six is Katizi Squad. Seven is Dash and D. Eight is DG4 Empire, nine is Boom Busters, and ten is Walk em Down. Now, this is the beginning of the year. The year just started. Everybody's trying to figure themselves out and all that goodness. I want you guys to really pay attention to this. If you think me being at seven has me worried, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You got another thing coming. All right. I got my team now. I wasn't even planning on winning the first two weeks. Right? But I played against this Katizi squad. Katizi squad, whatever you know what I'm saying. And I'm going to pull that up for you real quick. So week one, I played against them, right? It was a low scoring. It was 79.56 to 76.94. But look at my team right here. Um, I had no production. None. Travis Kelsey was hurt. Jared Judy was hurt. Um, everybody on the Chiefs did absolutely terrible. And Wilson was hurt, my other running back on injured reserve. My whole team was literally hurt. And then Lamar underperformed. Josh Jacobs underperformed. Everyone on my team basically underperformed. Everyone did. Everyone did. No one per performed to their peak. No one did. Even Debo. So, you think me being one-on-one -on -one has me scared? We got enough thing coming. <laughs> All right, now. Let's get, to the, let's get to the squad this week. So the first matchup we have for our uh, Sunday night game, it would be me, Dash and D, versus um, KC Scorpions. And now, let's go to uh, the um, little schedule real quick. Oh, wait one second. I'm gonna pop it up right here, right next to you. So I play KC Scorpions this week, week three. So we start off with quarterbacks. I think that Patrick Mahomes is going to torch, but I think Lamar is going to do his thing. But I got Raheem Mostert, Debo, and the steal of the season, Puka Nakua. <laughs> that boy been dropping 30s every week. And Travis Kelsey should be reaccustomed to the system now. He's back off that injury. He good. He'll pop off. And Josh Jacobs is on his final straw. He better pop off versus weak Pittsburgh defense. Uh, who else? But she got Zay Flowers, and Zay Flowers been tearing it up. And she got Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook solid. But projections for this week, I'm projecting 135. She's projected 95 and a half. And she's 2-0, and but in my opinion, she ain't played nobody yet. And it's going to be her first real challenge, and we're going to see how she does. Also, this is my girlfriend, Skyler. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, she ain't had no competition. And you think I'm about to let my girl beat me in fantasy? <laughs> All right now. Now, for the Sunday night game. Uh, I mean, not Sunday night. No, we was at my fault. Casey Scorpion versus Dash and D. We are the 325 game. We are the evening, evening game on Sunday. And this game right here, the Glizzy Cats versus DEO, is a Sunday night game. Now, talk about a star-studded matchup right here. These are two Goliaths going at it. You see it. You got you got 129 to 120. Like, these are two Goliaths. 
Blizzard Cats hasn't lost a single game all year. I know he's 2-0, but his games haven't been close. But mainly due to his star right here, Tyree Hill. Tyree Hill's a problem. He really is. He, he's really a problem. And then you combine it with the person throwing it to him and Tua, it's like a match made in heaven for him. So, in my opinion, I think that this guy so far has the best team in the league. After me now, because I made some, made some changes. But this is the this is my biggest threat. Good cat. This is my personal biggest threat. Now, don't act like DEO ain't no joke. Cause this this boy is really a problem. If Joe B gets to hooping, Bijan been doing his thing. Walker been doing his thing. Brown been doing his thing. Really been off and on. He played bad for his Chiefs, but he's been doing his thing for the most part. And Mark Andrews. And Swift. And still I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and don't let Cooper Cup come back healthy and Kamara come off of that suspension. There was a reason why Jay was predicted number one after the draft to finish like first in the league. Like yeah. You got a lot, man. This is this is a Sunday night matchup and it is a good one. My predictions, I'm gonna save that towards the end. Okay, let's go to the next Monday night football matchup of the year. We got our reigning, defending champion, Boom Busters. But he's going up against my boy, New York, DG4. This time, my boy, he talking about the only way he would have lost last year is because of the game got canceled. And sadly, my boy, Damari Hamlet almost died on the field. Now, prayers up. But... That game was canceled, and Desani was only losing by like two points. And if Josh Allen would have went out there and got at least two points, he would have won the whole thing last year. So, he calling Boom's championship a fraud. But one thing that ain't a fraud is both of these guys are over too. <laughs> oh, they looking for their first win. But hey, this is a start of the matchup as well. You see DG4 Empire is projected to be have 132, and Boom Bus is 122. Now, let me highlight some key players to see if they can like help and make them have a win this week. So what I think is the biggest X factor for Boom, the reigning champion, will be the Cowboys defense. The Cowboys defense has been popping off. If they can get another 20 point defense game, that'll be the one. Also, Stefan Diggs needs to have a great week and Jamar Chase. This man is really receiver heavy. Amari Cooper, Jamar Chase, Stefan Diggs, and he got Brandon Ayuk on his bench. Now, he needs to find some production out of those receivers and find out which ones he want to roll with because once he gets that good combination and they start popping off, he'd be a tough guy to beat. Justin Herbert's solid. He's not going to do like too much, but he's not going to like hurt you as well. So he needs to do a solid 20 points a game. Now, Jalen Hurts, on the other hand, for DG4, that boy can pop off at 30 because he runs the ball in for touchdowns, and he also throws it. So that's a dual threat right there. And then ETN is a problem. He just had a bad game with the Chiefs. Chiefs got a really great defense, by the way. And then we have um, 49 defense that can pop off and C.D. Lamb and probably the best receiver in football and Justin Jefferson. So that would be a great matchup. And let's go on to the rest of the games of the week. Let's start with game one, in my opinion. I think I'm personally going to win this matchup and it won't be close. So I'm going to say myself, I'm ready to win. We got Katizi Squad, which we'll highlight all these squads during the season. Just for this episode, we're going to just, you know what I'm saying, keep it too simple. Um, he has Josh Allen, all these guys. You see it, you see it, you see it. Um, I think that, hmm, I think Katizi will win this squad. He needs to make some changes at his running back because Saquon Barkley's out and John Taylor's out. Wow. I think Katizi will take this one. As crazy as that sounds. Um, for Boom Busters and GG4, I gotta go with DG4. He has a lot of firepower and he can really light it up. And I hate to say it, but the Grand Championship saw for all three. DEO versus Glizzy Cats. Now, I hope DEO wins because I'm getting tired of hearing Glizzy Cats talk crazy. But, my real at the same time, I think that Glizzy Cats will probably win this. And then, for the last game, I would say Fuzzy Bears versus Walking Down. Um, we got a massager over here on this team, but hey, 
know what I'm saying? Um, and you got Chief defense though, because you got to praise them because they've been doing really great. And shout out to Jared Wilson for still putting up points even though Aaron Rodgers is out. Walking down, you got AJ Brown. He was getting up targets last week. You got Matt. And you got Derrick Henry. But I got to get this one to the Fuzzy Bears. So that will be it for episode one. Stay tuned on how the season goes with the guys and the girl. And yeah, subscribe to the channel. Like if you want more content for fantasy football. You know what I'm saying? Or you want me to do something else? Put it in the comments below. And But before we go, let's have our star feature player of the week, Boom Busters, our reigning champ, give you some insight on how he looks at the season so far. And here it goes. What's going on, y'all? This is Mayun Boom, general manager of the Boom Busters, the Nebraska Boom Busters, the 2022-2023 Fantasy League champion, reigning champion. Yeah, so I just wanted to uh, answer some questions for y'all. Um, so who do I think is going to win the league this year? You know, it's only week two, but, you know, if I had to pick today, either the Fuzzy Bears or the Goosey Cats. You know, the Goosey Cats are explosive. Put a 150 week one, you know, put a, you know, not, not as much week two, like 120 or something, but, you know, they still got some, some firepower. And you can say the same thing about the Fuzzy Bears, you know, a lot of firepower within those rosters. Uh, how do I feel about my team? You know, we're all in two right now, but last year I think I started out like one and three or something. So I'm not tripping too much about that. Uh, I'm gonna make some trades probably next week if I need to, depending on how my players do this week. But you know, it's the NFL, you know, you never know who's gonna do what. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Uh, so who do I believe are the overrated teams in the league? Um, it's only been two weeks. So you can't say too much about nobody because teams are figuring themselves out still finding identities, but um, if I could pick a team, you know, the KC Scorpions come to mind. Um, they're 2-0, which is great and hard to do. You know, only, I think, three or four teams in the league are 2-0, but, um, you know, the point giving up total is, I think, 180. So that's about 90 a game, you know. They're, they're yet to see a team who can put up 100-plus points. So, you know, that's a team to watch going forward. And the Showtime Bandits, you know, they're 2-0 as well, but you know, that's two wins against two, I guess, lower tier teams early in the year. But like I said, it's only been two weeks. So, you know, uh, this could change later on. But that's what I got for now.